King Demand Curve by Camilla Chudder. The King Demand Theory is a theory of what an oligopolistic firm's demand curve should look like. It has three main components. The first is the equilibrium E. It is assumed that in this theory that at this equilibrium E, MC equals MR, i.e. their profit maximised. This is the standard output an oligopolistic firm should operate at. This point can be known as tacit collusion. In order to understand the other two parts of this theory, we will explore two scenarios. Imagine in an oligopolistic industry, if one firm decides to increase the price, then the competitors will respond by not ch changing their price, so that they can capture the market share lost by the firm who has increased prices. This implies that the demand is price elastic, for if it was not, then all the firms would increase prices too. This is why above the price P, the demand curve is inelastic. Imagine now in an oligopolistic market that the firm decides to lower its price. Other rival firms in the market will follow suit to stop the firm from capturing market share. and a price war will break out. This implies that demand is inelastic because these firms are following suit, which means that demand will not change much with the price. This is why any point below price P, the demand curve is inelastic. The King demand curve shows that firms are better off in engaging in non-price competition and in and operating at tacit collusion. It is a great way to show how firms lose out by increasing or decreasing their price in an oligopoly. Thank you for watching and for the written version of this video please visit my blog.